Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see two journals which are related to research that is specifically for electrical engineering and computer science and the two journals, that is three journals which is for review. Okay, so uh, we will also check whether it is an annexure one, it is listed in annexure one or not and also we will see whether it is indexed in Scopus. <music> So the first journal which we are going to discuss is what's what Turkish Journal of Electrical Engineering and Computer Sciences. So I am keep on telling like what are the essential thing which you should check in any journal is what first one is whether that is under your scope of the article. Okay, so these are all the scope of the Turkish journal that is circuit theory that that, uh, that is the name itself you can see electrical engineering and computer sciences. So, which means circuit theory, electronics, embedded, realization of antenna system. So, it has various scope. Okay. So, and also here they will be, they are accepting, uh, that is uh, computer science does not accept. Okay. They are not accepting the report results specific to a local region only. Studies including outdated data, studies providing limited contributions to the literature review, studies that have already been published studies that are currently under consideration for the publication elsewhere so they are not considering all these things and other than that they are considering the novel theories design and applications in the areas of uh, computer science information technology and electrical engineering with these are all the focus okay they are accepting the research related one so yes if it is if your article related to this this scope then you can proceed the next one which you have to check is what what are the frequency of the journal so in order to know about the frequency of the journal you have to either go to the journal homepage or else you can check in the archives so here in the journal homepage you can see that they are publishing i think six issues per year so definitely uh, you will get other quicker response like jan march may july september and november okay and in few journal they will also mention like how many days they will take for your initial submission to the acceptance okay that is also will be available so you can you can check that in the faq always don't forget to check the faq okay so here you can find various information about it okay so you can find it so this is i have personally submitted my uh, article when i was doing my research in this journal so you'll be getting a quicker response okay so don't worry about it so the next one is what we will be talking about the um, price that is a charge for the journal right so here you can find it in the information uh, information of the author sometimes it will be available in the about this journal okay so you can go and check for here the authors does not have any publication charges for open access okay so this is an english language peer-reviewed scholarly open access based journal okay if you are going for an open access then it is you you are not supposed to pay any charge for this fine so this is all about it and uh, you can submit your article you have to create an account here okay you have to create an account and you can submit your article so here you have to select which journal because we have seen electrical engineering computers journal so if you are an existing user you can click here or as you can create a new user you can click here you can register and submit it okay before submitting you should check the manuscript template as well because this is very very essential so you'll be getting a template you have to download it and make use of it okay and i advise every uh, scholars and researchers to just go and check the previous previously published paper so that you will get an idea like what type of thing they are expecting like how it should be formatted okay so how many uh, how many images it is required where and all the images is required of course for introduction part you don't want to give any images but if it is a research related your methodology you should depict it with an image so just understand some idea from that and do that submit it so next we will we will also check whether this journal is indexed in annexure one okay you can go and check here this is anna university annexure one list of journals if you just paste it you can see that it is indexed in annexure one and also you can check it here in the scopus and you can search it you can also find it whether it is there in the scopus yes it is there in scopus okay so let us go to the next one which is the international journal for computation mathematics in electrical and electronic engineering so first before proceeding let us check 
okay so let us copy this and paste it in the annex show one yes it is there and also you can try it in the scopus if it is not in scopus don't worry definitely it will be there in web of science because annex show one almost all the journals in the annex show one will be either in scopus or in web of science or both okay so you can just directly yes it is there in scopus and also in annex show one okay you can see that they are uh, issuing six issues they are publishing six issues per year okay and you don't you don't want to worry about like how long it will be in the scopus or annex show one because uh, it is it was there it is there for a longer period okay like since 1982 it is indexed in scopus as well as in um, any renowned database so don't worry about it so here you can see these are all the issues okay so if you want to know more about it we can just go and see about this journal to check what is the cost for this okay and if you just scroll down uh, um, okay um, we will just check fee okay you can see that is there any submission fee the only time we will ever ask you for money to publish an emerald if you have chosen to publish via the gold open access route you will be asked to pay apc once your paper has been accepted unless it is sponsored open access journal okay unless it is an sponsored one okay or else they have their own thing called um, uh, gold like they are mentioning like if you are going through a gold open access route then you have to pay in some cases you know they will be giving you some options that to wave off even if they are asking for any price they will ask you to they you can wave off some amount if you just send them a mail or a thing so aim and scope is this is what these are all the aim and scope of the journal modeling and simulation computational technique development of algorithm algorithm performance analysis so these are all the aim okay so uh, of course these uh, um, uh, these journals will accept the research related paper that is you have two types that is the survey and the research okay so this is the one and you can uh, check uh, how you have to format your uh, thing okay that is what is the plagiarism policy what is the copyright policy what is the format they have given clearly like how it you have to submit everything okay so this is about the second journal so let us go to the third one that is online information review so this is of course it is a review based journal okay you can copy and see whether it is there in a next year yes it is there in a next year and you can also check that whether it is there in scopus so we will check that whether that online review is there in scopus as well yes it is there in scopus okay and you can also check uh, uh, you can also check uh, since when it is in the scopus okay and what are the uh, um, thing which they are just covering so social sciences i think it's multidisciplinary okay like computer science computer science applications computer science information system so they are covering almost many so this is the online information review of course most of the emerald publication publishers like most of the emerald related um, journals they will be uh, publishing without any cost like uh, if you are going through a golden uh, uh, route then you have to pay and this is here you have seven issues per year so click on the uh, about this journal and you can see more about it you have to expand this author guidelines and check for fee okay you can see what is the fee okay so the only time we will ask you ever for emerald journal is if you have chosen a publish via the golden uh, open access route to pay an apc once your paper has been accepted unless it is sponsored by an open access journal okay you can read more about the article processing charges and definitely you will be getting a waiver if you can get a waiver from the journal and another one important thing is what you can just talk to your organization they might have some uh, tie up like they might have some golden access route they have subscribed uh, this particular emerald publishers so you will get a free submissions and free uh, publication okay let us see the next one which is a johnson mathe technology review so this is an another thing this is also they are um, giving you a technology related reviews so here you can check first if you can check whether it is there in um, an extra one yes it is there and also we will check whether it is there in scopus so 
you can check whether it is there in Scopus as well. So that um, even if it is not in Scopus, don't worry. Okay, so anyhow, it is there in an extra one. So it is there in Scopus as well. You can also check since when it's been in uh, Scopus. Okay, so you will have some confidence. So since 2014, it's there in Scopus. Great. So they are just concentrating on metal alloys, uh, uh, chemical engineering, chemistry. So it is related to the chemistry and uh, uh, related to the uh, science related one okay so here you can see how many um, how many issues per year okay you can simply click here and see how many issues per year and of course even uh, here so you can just go and see 2021 they have four issues okay four issues a year so here you can check that this is um, for the authors you can go and see what is the price okay if you just go and search for the fee there are no author fees so you don't want to pay any fee for this and you can submit your journal and these are all the scope of the journal you can go and check for the scope it is completely related to chemistry uh, and uh, relevant thing okay here you can find everything okay and the last one is what wires data mining and knowledge discovery so you can go and check here data mining and knowledge discovery so this is what really okay so that is what they have mentioned like why so here you can see that um, this covers the computer science artificial intelligence and related reviews okay so uh, here you have other journals as well here you can ex expand and see what are the other journals which they are offering for and anyhow you have to cross check with the um what to say in the nx one and the scopus okay so here we will um, we will just see like what are the uh, whether they are uh, what is the okay john Matthew. i'm sorry so here you can also check whether they are uh, um, accepting the reviews okay so you can check here fine so this is yes of course it's showing like interdisciplinary reviews right so that is what r uh, v i r e okay review so it accepts all the review papers and everything so here you can check for about the authors like here you will be having um, um, that is a scope you can just go and check for the scope overview about in the about you can check the overview and if you want to know more about the archives like uh, because here they haven't mentioned anything specifically like um, uh, like they haven't mentioned like how many issues per year they are just concentrating on so you can just go ahead and check for the um, archives as well so you can just here check here um, okay so issues and all issues so what are the issues and all issues and check how many issues in 2021 they have i think they have nearly 12 issues no okay six issues 2021 they have six they have uh, they have published six issue, is, issues so of course for now also they will be publishing nearly six issues so you can definitely uh, try here okay and if you click here for authors you can check for what is the payment so any article processing fee or charges are there so there are no pay charges color charges or publication fees for a standard article see below for an information of the open access okay standard article and open access so you have to properly update your reviews and uh, it should be very clear that before you submit an article so this is what the submit article proposal okay so i hope you all get an idea like overview of what are the um, journals which you can consider for your uh, article so if you have any doubt in publications or if you have any doubt in the research you can definitely comment i will help you i will reply you for sure and i'm not related to any agency i'm not connected with any agency or research agency so don't consider that don't think that i am uh, doing any th all these things for the paid f uh, with some payment okay so this is all uh, i'm just doing to ease your work ease your research work so all the best for your research take care stay safe Bye bye